Now I wanted to share a, a nice little tip. This is a really good one. This is a, a little thing you can buy from Harbor Freight, a little mandrel. These are the little fiber discs. These are actually smooth because I ran out of rough ones. But what I'm trying to do with this wheel, somebody, won't mention any names, painted it, maybe the previous owner, put on this really awful silver paint, which acetone took about 80% off, but the rest is killing me to get it off. But what I've been trying to do, and I wanted to show this, this these little fiber pads, the most important part is on a reverse radius here, in between, around here, in this, and around here. Now a lot of this I'm going to have to do by hand, but some of it, and getting this wheel all prepped up, I can see one thing right off the bat, this one's, this one's a defective one, Harbor Freight. Quality above all. Let's see if they're all defective. That's probably a good thing to put on a video. Everything's good to put on a video. That one's better. So this one we'll just we'll give that to Bob Navola. Anyway, really important. As I said before, and these, these do wear out, so obviously for about three bucks you buy a whole box of them. Now the whole thing is, getting off that silver paint is the biggest thing, because if we were to paint over that silver paint, ain't happening. Now I always have my little box. I bought this to do Vince's wheels a couple of years ago, found out it didn't really work on my wheels. Maybe it'll work on his BMW, I don't know. These are really excellent. Again, Harbor Freight, two or three dollars each. But there's always a point at which you need a little one like this to get down in the corners and around the edges and everything. And the problem with this wheel in particular, you see down in here, this is all visible. So it's all got to be mm, cleaned up, whatever. Now, what happens with these, they do wear out like sandpaper does, but I'd say to, to do a wheel like this, and the, the thing I'm trying to do with the wheel, this is a cast wheel. Well, I don't want it to be, you know, I, I, I'd like to get, and I did it to the back wheel already, so I, now I want to make the matching wheel. And you actually get to see in here on this wheel, this is the front wheel. So I've got to sand, this I'll have to do by hand, of course. But this little wire brush will be so handy to get in here. I can get 80, 90% of it. And then when I get to that point, see, the, the point is I'm going to put, a lot of hours into this and I don't want to have it that at the very end you put the last coat of clear on and there's a spot that the paint isn't adhering to so it's cheap insurance to try to do this and it's dirty disgusting work of course but you know that's that's why I like having it when you're done you really appreciate it I just see one spoke here Even though this looks shiny, it's got enough of a scratch on it that paint will stick. I know that from doing the back wheel. So each one of these, this allows me to get out in the corner here. And most of this I'm going to be doing I'd say this, this lets you do 60-70% of it, but the last little bit you've got to get down in there by hand. A piece of sandpaper, it doesn't matter what grid it is. In the end, you got to get in the corners, you got to get around the edges. And I know from having doing the back wheel, there's a lot of hours. And this, be, this might be more than, one, more than one day to do this, I don't know. But the point is, when it's done, I want since it'll be shiny and black. And by the way, the one thing I didn't like on the original wheel, I did the pinstripe in the color that the motorcycle is, and it wasn't enough of a contrast. So what I did, just as a test, I went and bought some, um, the real Kawasaki green, it's not metallic, to see if I liked that better. And I did, and Luciano liked it, and whoever else has seen it. Everybody commented that looked better with the, the lighter color. 
So I'm going to mix some of that color since I only need to do a pinstripe on this. But this is one tool if you're doing this kind of work. And by the way, it took about a gallon of acetone and two rolls of paper towels to wipe off a lot of the paint, but you don't get it all off. It, it just, it's amazing. And because it was Home Depot paint, acetone took it right off, but you didn't have to use paint remover and, and all the, the toxicity that's involved with paint remover. But I think after, uh, you know, a good amount of hours, Remember, any place where there's an inside radius, what on a model plane would be a fillet, everywhere there's an inside radius, and I can take this at some point in time and get right in the corner, and I'm certainly not going to be in a rush to do this, because this is a, this kind of turns into a labor of love, and an awful lot of people don't even know you did it. They look at the bike and they don't even see it, but who cares? It's, it's for your own personal satisfaction. And as several of my friends in the modeling world know, excellence is its own reward. When you have excellent stuff, the people that really matter appreciate it. And the people that don't appreciate it, that they want a watermelon rinds or something, or whatever, it's, it's just hard to figure out. Now, one thing I did not find of any value, I had a Dremel tool. I was trying to do this with a Dremel tool and all those little bits they sell you didn't work for me down in here this is going to be a major thing because and when i did the first wheel in silver i never sanded this out completely and when i put the disc on i realized uh oh you see in there so i have to really address this when i start sanding the prime coats get that all nice in there as much as possible and put some dowels with sandpaper around them but this wheel actually when you're all done with it is a really nice to me it's an attractive wheel it has a nice nostalgic look like uh, bikes of that period had. And another thing too, it's a light wheel. It really is relatively light. And this is what I always love. Um, I don't know why I like that. Anyway, we'll be working on this for the next couple of days.